In this particular lecture, let's go ahead and let's learn what is a dynamic routing in single page React applications. So till this point, we have learned how to create simple routes like dashboard and nested routes like forward slash dashboard forward slash settings. But now let's learn how to create a dynamic routes. So what exactly are dynamic routes? So let's suppose here you want to create a route which would say something like, let's say products and if I could go ahead and go to this particular products page, I should have a products page here, which is all fine and good. But let's suppose here, after saying products forward slash one, I should be able to get a product whose ID is one. If I say products forward slash two, I should be able to get the product whose ID is two. So how exactly this can be implemented? Now you might think that, all right, we could implement this the nested route way that is have one route inside the other. But the thing is this value, which we have up over here, this is not a static value, but it's a dynamic value because we could have hundreds of products on our website and we don't want to create a route for every single one of the product here statically. And this is what is called as a dynamic route. So now let's learn how exactly we could go ahead and create such a dynamic route. So in order to do that, let's first go ahead and let's create a new page called as products.jsx which allows us to list all the products and let's also create a route for it. So I'll go to the pages directory, create a new page called as products.jsx, export default function that's going to be products, make this thing return a div and let's suppose we say something like this is products or products list. So once we have this particular page, now let's create a route for this and creating a route for this would be fairly straightforward. You could simply go ahead and create a route for this one. So I'll create a route here and here the path for this one is going to be, let's say forward slash products and the element which we want to render here is going to be the products page, which we have created. So products and that's it. Now, if I go ahead and go to products, as you can see, it says products list here. Now our job is to go ahead and create routes, which match with something like products forward slash one products forward slash two, so on and so forth. So in order to create such a dynamic routes, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and somehow modify this route so that it could incorporate this particular number right here. So what we do here is that after creating this particular products route, we again add a forward slash here and then over here we want to create a dynamic variable which could access these numeric values here. So in order to include a dynamic variable here, I would add a colon and then type in ID. So technically you could name this anything, but as we are dealing with product IDs here, I would simply type in ID up over here. And as soon as I have that, as you can see, this no longer says page not found, but instead it's now displaying a products list here. So now I could go ahead and I could even go to products forward slash three, and this would still render this products page right here. And if I don't enter anything here and simply type in products, this time it's going to say page not found because this route right here expects products forward slash a number here. So that means upon visiting products forward slash one, I want to display a product whose ID is one. So how exactly can we go ahead and display that up over here? So the interesting thing about dynamic routes is that once you have this dynamic value inside a route, you could actually access the actual value of this particular ID inside the products component, which we have. So let's go ahead and let's access this ID value inside the products page. So I'll go to the products page here and whenever you want to access a value which is entered inside the URL, you could access that value as a URL parameter. So this value which we have up over here is called as a URL parameter. And in order to access that URL parameter, we have a function called as use params. So in here I could say use params. And what this would do is that it would allow me to access the parameters which might be present in this particular URL route right here. So here I would say use params and this will go ahead and give me access to each and every parameter which we have in the URL. But right now we only want to access the ID parameter. So I would destructure that. So const ID equals use params. Now, if you want to display this ID here, you could simply go ahead and say something like ID 
And once you have this ID, if you go back here, as you can see, if I say products forward slash one, it would say product list one, product list two, product list three, so on and so forth. Now you could even better format this. And instead of saying something like this, what you could do is you could actually go ahead, include this in an H1 tag for the product list. And over here, you could create a paragraph tag and say something like showing product with ID and then display the ID here. So what this would do is it would give you the product list page and for ID three, it would say showing product with ID three. If I go to forward slash two, it would say showing product with ID two. So that means now we have a static page or the static route, which is products, which obviously won't work on itself because it accepts an ID here. And once you pass in an ID, now you have a dynamic route, which dynamically routes us to different pages with different product IDs right here. So this is how you could go ahead and create dynamic routes in a single page react applications. And once you have this ID with you, you can actually make a call to an API requesting the product with that particular ID. So that's it for this lecture. And in the next lecture, we are going to learn something about programmatic navigation in react applications. So let's learn about that in the next one.